leprechauns come and get you, or I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we got invited to go to somebody's boat for the 4th of July wow. on the water. Hey guys and girls on Ask Japanese Generally, we ask Japanese people on this channel, but this time we actually went and asked foreigners about crazy, fun, and weird festivals that actually exist in their country. I'm quite curious to find out what we get, so let's go and ask foreigners in Japan. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, from London. Right. Uh, London as well. And you said you're Irish? Irish, yeah. I've, uh, moved to London 20 years ago. We're asking everyone right now about cool festivals in your country. So what kind of cool festivals are there? Um, in Ireland, we have a thing called Electric Picnic. Electric Picnic? Irish food and beverage and art come together and, and in global music as well. So yeah, it's really cool. What kind of art is displayed there? Sculptures, paintings, uh, but the, the food thing is a really exciting piece because that's an expanding part of Irish culture at the moment. So uh, there's a lot of new chefs coming up and yeah, so it's a very... Ooh, so like famous chefs come and cook there? Uh, in Irish terms, famous, yes, yes. With, what does that festival sell, like, celebrate itself as, like a summer festival? It's a summer or? festival, yeah. It's, it's like a, a traditional music festival that's a little bit more artistic than just music. Mm -hmm. So music forms the backbone, but, but yeah, the rest of it is... Uh, there's a lot of other things going on that it's trying to celebrate, so... So there's a really famous festival in Ireland too, right? Yeah, St. Patrick's Day is obviously the, uh, the globally famous... So we have parades and, and, and lots of people come from all over the world to uh, drink Guinness and, and enjoy the parades and enjoy Irish culture, yeah, music and dancing and everything that goes with it, so... So what is, like, the, the thing to do on, like, a real Irish St. Patrick's Day? Not the thing that people copy all over, so what's the real thing to do? Most Irish people just go to their local pub, to be honest, and enjoy the day and drink some Guinness, eat some nice food and hang out, have a good crack. I heard that you have to wear something green, is that true? Um, no, your blood runs green if you're Irish, so ah. <laughs> maybe if you're not Irish you have to wear something green, but yeah. yeah. What's the thing about wearing something green? What happens if you don't wear something green? Um, I think there's some myth about leprechauns come and get you or I don't know, but yeah. I don't know how true that is. So if I don't wear green, a leprechaun might come and get me? Potentially, potentially. So be careful. Okay. Yeah. What does St. Patrick's Day actually celebrate? St. Patrick's, so it's the patron saint. Ireland's a historically a very Catholic country and then and this the patron saint of the country was St. Patrick so it was uh, actually always a saint there for the country but it became more popular outside of Ireland first uh, where the Irish wanted to sort of reconnect with their their, their home nation so they, that was the one day where they could celebrate being Irish and it sort of found its way back home where we always celebrated in a more religious way but then it became a bit more of a party when our reputation uh, followed us home for, for drinking and partying. Where are you from? Well, from France. From France. So please tell me, in France, what kind of big festival is there? The, the major one major, is yeah. for the 14th of July, obviously. Uh, you know that it is the anniversary of the revolution and it is the national celebration. Yeah. It's the national day. Many fireworks in the evening. For instance, in Paris, on the Eiffel Tower, the very big important fireworks and uh, in each area in the town in every town in France the people dance uh, in the evening uh, with music and uh, uh. and usually there are concerts uh, different kind of music in small towns uh, you have some kind of uh, what fanfare uh, that is the local uh, local bands and uh, yeah Obviously, everybody is happy and, uh, and we like to enjoy it. What do people eat? Is there like a specific thing everyone eats? There's no special eat, no. but we celebrate with champagne. Oh. <laughs> you know, for all our major celebration, we like to have champagne. Oh. And at least foie gras, you know foie gras? Foie gras, well? yes, uh, yes, foie gras as well. Yeah, it's it is special a, for no, no, it's a symbol of no. celebration, that's all. Wow, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a very high-class symbol of celebration. It's okay, we're asking people about festivals all across the world. Where are you guys from? California. 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 Um, Fourth of July is a big one. Oh, Everyone really? just kind of has a barbecue, hangs out with their friends and family, spends all day. It's usually hot, so you're spending all day outside by a pool or something. So Fourth of July, like, tell me what's like the, the, the meaning behind it for people who might not know. Uh, it's Independence Day for our country, 
and uh, we celebrate using fireworks and eating lots of delicious food, barbecued food, spending time with our families. Barbecued food was like the best thing to eat on Independence Day. <laughs> the typical is like hamburgers, but if you want to be fancy, you can have like steak or ribs or something. So that sounds pretty good. Fireworks? Does every city do fireworks? Mostly, pretty yes. <laughs> uh, just seeing my friends, hanging out under the stars, having a good time. Yeah. Under the stars? Yeah, when the fire, it's dark out when the fireworks go off, so you're just in the park on blankets, in the beds of trucks watching the fireworks. In the backs of trucks watching fireworks? Yeah, in the parking lot, yeah, wherever you are. That sounds so cool! Yeah. What is this, like a story of one fourth of July when something good happened or something bittersweet happened or something? Uh, we got invited to go to somebody's boat for the fourth of July wow. on the water, and that was really fun. Um, I enjoyed that. We left early to go see our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so on our driving home is when we saw the fireworks, but it was really cool to hang out along the water and watch the fireworks. It was very beautiful. Wow, on the boat, but you had to go home. Yes, <laughs> we had to go take care of the dog who didn't like fireworks. <laughs> oh, so you're like, I really would love to stay, but... Mm -hmm. Yes, but gotta go take care of the dog. <laughs> so there's a lot of responsibility though. Yes. <laughs> wow, all the people would have just gone like, screw that, I'm watching the fireworks. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't want the house to get destroyed, so yeah. he's a big dog. Um, he's a pit bull. He's like the sweetest dog. Oh, mm -hmm. so good. You have a scared pit bull on the 4th of July yes. who's like, I'm so scared. Yes, yes. He just wants to cuddle and be near you. When he's near you, he's okay. Oh, it's the big sounds of the fireworks. Yes, yes, the sounds scare him. <laughs> oh, everyone celebrates and he's like, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, oftentimes the dogs get scared. <laughs> well, those were all of Christians. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> So these are some of the festivals you can maybe experience if you go abroad. How is that for you guys? Let us know about queer, weird, quirky and fun festivals that exist in your country and how people are enjoying them the most. We're looking forward to reading it, so leave us a comment down below. Also comment on each other's comments. It'd be nice to see you guys have a discussion in the comments. Also guys, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It'd be nice to have you on the team. We generally interview Japanese people, but also foreigners who have come to Japan to share our cultures. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you soon for more stuff on Ask Japanese. Bye!